Hey, what's up, guys? It is Celeb back again for another impressions video brought to you by Cinelinks and Second Opinion Productions. I'm joined by my partner in crime, Lord Bolts. What's up, man? What's up, bro? What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> so we're back from uh, California. We are uh, giving our impressions of some games that we tried out. And one of the games that really stuck out for us was Obsidian's The Outer Worlds. So we got to sit down and watch about 25 minutes of gameplay, I think. Yes, absolutely. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, it was something really special that kind of hit me on the feels. I don't know about you, Bolts, but uh, it felt so good watching this gameplay. And it really uh, it felt new, but it felt like something we've seen before from obsidian which was which is a good thing absolutely absolutely um it was you know it was the freaking business card is slipping my shoe out <laughs> there um it was it was it was great to look at it was great to watch it was great to to, to get you know the first hands-on the first not hands-on but the, the first visuals and what this game is expected to be um obsidian is is amazing um, they, you know, the, the, the creators of this, of course, created, you know, created the first fallout, the first and the second fallout. And well, they, they created that, but they also, they did, well, they did New Vegas. Oh, that's all fine yeah. and dandy, but New Which Vegas. New Vegas was huge. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Jesus Christ. I was rudely interrupted. Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> uh, yes, New Vegas was New Vegas. It was great. It was wonderful. Everybody loved it, blah, blah, blah. But it goes, but you know, but it, the, the people... I mean, the people that created the original Fallout came back and was like, boom, you know, yeah. um, when I created wrote, whatever you want to say it, but it just, it's out of worlds is, is it, it looked, it looked tremendous, man. It really was. It was colorful, it was vibrant, um, it was smooth gameplay. It had the, uh, the beautiful, you know, the, the wonderful decision making of the conversations. Um, and it just, it reminded you of a Fallout game. Absolutely. Um, with it, with a big, beautiful, big, beautiful sci-fi out, you know, out of world <laughs> feel, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. um, well, the demo that we saw took place in Fallbrook, um, which is an area that you can check out, but you also had your companion Ellie there with you. And you also had another companion as well. Um, so in the description, uh, that we were given in a, in a press release, it does say lost in transit while on a colonist ship bound for the future edge the furthest edge of the galaxy you awake decades later than what you expected to find yourself in the midst of a deep conspiracy th uh, threatening to destroy the entire colony which uh sounds pretty cool uh but you know the great thing and the coolest thing about this is like it was a total mixture of some of our favorite games like it has this bioshock feel to it it's like bioshock plus fallout in space you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and it just dude the overall art style looked fantastic the gameplay was super smooth um and one of the best things that i really enjoyed about the gameplay that we saw was the decision making um that you could do in the game so you have uh, skill points is you can use that can unlock uh, stuff like charm or an intimidation or lying or you know whatever else um, and that's one of the great things about previous fallout titles that you have the ability of doing tons of diff different choices or even a game like bolts uh, that bolts really loved was like the mass effect series you like as you play through the game uh, and you develop your character you can have certain traits that um, like, you know, you could be a bigger asshole. And like, if you were an asshole and your traits were high enough, then that would always work out in your favor more. So it seems like this is going to kind of have the same exact thing. And I don't know about you, Bolts, but the visuals of like the facial animations and everything looked fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was overly, I mean, I was over, I was, I was impressed. Um, you know, and, and as much as the people don't like me to hear it and say it and you know, so on and so forth. Sorry to say, y'all, but this is what Fallout seventy six should have been. Yeah, it was, it was, it was awesome. And I don't care what anybody says. Also, this is this is kind of a nut shot to 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 the to the company that created Fallout seventy six because this is what the fans wanted. This is what the consumers, the gamers wanted. Mm -hmm. So, well, you know I, my I, feelings on yeah, that, yeah. bro. 
<laughs> like I think Bethesda is doing a great thing with with Fallout 76. I think they're they're coming back with the NPCs or whatever else. But I will say shout out to Obsidian because Obsidian did say that they they didn't want to make this as like a shout or a shot. I don't know why I said shout, but a shot at Bethesda. It shout, was more or less shout, they wanted to make let it all out. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to make a game, a, a role playing action adventure game on their own. And um, this is like a culmination of years and years and years and years of of uh, them working on other titles of saying, listen, we could try to make our own and I think we could do a really good job with it. So that's why I'm really excited for this game because it seems like something fresh and new, something that we haven't really seen yet, but we still have kind of like the, the feels, still has the feels of like the previous games right. uh, that we've played before. Now, one thing, too, is outside of the gameplay just being, you know, really fantastic looking. Um, one thing, too, it did have that comedic side to it as well. You know, you could be an asshole. You could kill people left and right or whatever. But um, when you walk into a certain part of the, the uh, town, you find... First off, what was cool is that when you and your companions walk into a certain part of the town, you're able to cloak you and your companions to look like regular workers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that was awesome. And there's certain bots in this area that can that you can talk to or intimidate or whatever else. Um, but you end up walking into a basically a meat factory, and in these meat factories were borts is that what is that what yeah, they were called I, I think that, that, that's the that's the best way to pronounce it i believe <laughs> yeah. it was like borts um and they do or borsts or whatever and with these borsts they have like they have tumors they grow tumors all over their body that are like bacon flavored tumors um and you can you know you can whatever they said the the company will they'll dice them up, make them into stuff, or they'll make them into borstwurst, which are supposedly some of the most disgusting right. things that they can make. But it was just crazy, bro. Like the way that the developers were explaining the game and the fact that you can actually go in there and, you know, take the stuff and use it for yourself or sell it or whatever else. It's just awesome, dude. It's, it's straight up action RPG, um, action RPG gameplay that we know and that we love. Um, and, of course, you know, the game can be played in co-op too, correct? I believe I, I believe so, yes. Um, of course, this is going to be a great game to hopefully be able to play with your friends. One thing I did <clears throat> see in the action, um, whenever they were taking on certain enemies, there was like a slowdown effect mm -hmm. as well. So with that, I don't know about you, Bolts. Like, I really like that. Do you like that addition? Where it's like a kind of a little bit of a focus mode. Do you think? Oh yeah, a absolutely. No, no, no. I think it's fine because because it, it gives you a moment to gather yourself, collect yourself. You know, you got a you got an enemy on a long distance shot that you're trying to pinpoint. <laughs> so yeah, no, I don't mind that at all. Yeah. Um, also, you can get different things throughout the throughout the game. You can get your perk points. You can get different flaws as well. Um, that will help you in the game uh, to make certain decisions or do certain things that you want. Um, but what's great about it is that it is exactly what we have wanted from Obsidian, uh, Obsidian for some time. It is a it is a full on action RPG game. Now, Bolts, was there anything that you saw in the gameplay uh, that you didn't really like? Honestly, no, I didn't. <laughs> um, I, I I'm a big big fan. Um, of, of the style of mm. this big open RPG, you know, decision making. Um, I, I I rather enjoyed everything that I saw. I really did. I, I By the way, I just remember those things were called cis pigs. Cis pigs. Cis pigs. Okay. Yeah, they're they the the food and stuff they're made into is is borsts. Okay. But they're called cis pigs. That's right. Because okay. I remember whenever they showed them on there, I was like, "What is that?" And he was like. These are cis pigs. They grow tumors that are flavored like bacon. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was cis pigs. And the dude that ran it, his name was Clive Lumberg, which made me laugh because of Office Space. There you the go. The dude on there, there was go. named Lumberg, so, um, which he was a total creep, the dude that you were going to take on. But what's cool, and I, and I hate, I'm sorry I, uh, for interrupting, but no, like, one, one, one cool thing is that. Um, from this interaction that you have with like Clive, um, I'm looking at some screens right here. 
Um, you actually, what's cool about it is that you can, you were sent in to kill Clive. You were sent in to kill Clive by a certain person. Um, and you have the option at this point in time, at the end of this mission, to actually either join Clive and mm -hmm. then kill the person that sent you to kill Clive. Right. Kill Clive. Or try to make them work together, which nobody's really done before. Like exactly. try to bring them together and make the make the colony a, a, a happier place. Right, right, right. Um, which I thought was fucking awesome, bro. That shows you that this game is is not only like a Fallout game, but it's also like it is a full on like player player choice title. You know what I'm saying? Like no, there's going to be a ton of different endings. There's going to be all different types of decisions and choices. It's so many playthroughs. Play yeah. Playability will be extremely yes. high with this. Now, I will say, I heard some people online, and, and i got to say this. It's been sitting with me since I heard it. I heard some people online saying, like, they didn't like the way that some of the characters, like, I guess were wording stuff. Like, they would have certain they would have certain phrases that they would say and i guess the character didn't react the way that they wanted them to react um like emotionally right and i saw one dude online was like i saw this and i mean it really makes me not want to even buy the game which made no fucking excuse to uh, like i'm mean, excuse it made no sense to me at all um but I mean, bolts like you even know, like this this game is gonna be good, and it's gonna it, have things that it needs exactly. to work on or whatever. Well, but I, I mean, absolutely, and and when they release it, if everything is not perfect, no game out there when it's released is perfect nowadays. There's so much that so so they try to fit in these games. It's not gonna yeah. be perfect when it first releases. When they release it, if something they see something off, you know, maybe something about the uh, the voice and the captions, maybe it's off with the lips or something like that. They'll send the update version 1.7.7. Yeah, you know some yeah. shit like that. Oh, <laughs> I love how specific <laughs> you were with that. Um, but yeah, I agree, man. And I mean, there's some crazy ass weapons and shit in this oh, game. Oh yeah, man. Like there's uh there's one weapon that's like a shrink ray, um, to where it like it, it like you you're in the middle of a huge battle with some giant um character. It shrinks them down to nothing. Um, there's all different types of weapons that you're going to be able to use. And by the way, the thing I was talking about earlier was called tactical time dilation, I guess, mm -hmm. um, which is, uh, it gives you that, that sensibility of like, kind of like a matrix feel to it, where you you're go. able to like slow things down and like focus on things, um, which looks just so fucking sick, bro. It looks so cool. Um, and as you go along, you know, depending like what we were talking about earlier, you do have that feel of a Bioshock style game as well, because depending on your reputation and depending on the way you you treat people in the game, um, you can have a completely different outcome, yes. which is just fucking nuts to me. So, um, Bolts, do you have anything else that you want to talk about with the Outer Worlds uh, before we end this little bit? Um, I really don't. I just, I it was it was it was just spectacular to see. It, really it was, was spectacular to see. Um, it was overall, it was a great presentation. I want to give a big shout out to Obsidian for letting us sit down and check out this gameplay. Um, we try to go as detailed as we can uh, with the overall gameplay and stuff. We, we loved what we saw. We think it's going to be a fantastic game and we can't wait for you guys uh, to, to check this game out whenever it comes out later on. Uh, was it this year? Uh, yes, in about four months. Yeah, so get ready guys. Out of Worlds, coming soon. Peace out.